the winner of the X Factor 2011 is Little Mix. I remember going back to the hotel room with Leanne and I remember I think I had about 101 inbox messages on my Facebook and I remember clicking on it and the first one that come up, you are the ugliest thing I've ever seen in my life. You deserve to die. No, we <laughs> took our mamas for granted so much yeah. before we got in the house. We're like, what do we do with the washing? What do we do? <laughs> I just miss my mum's Sunday roast. I can't oh, wait for my mum's yes. Sunday roast. Oh. <laughs> just an uplifting, upbeat song about not listening to any negativity, believing in yourself and yes, listening to what your mum sees. Um, I think when I get on stage that's when I start to feel adrenaline. Most of the get really nervous beforehand but I get nervous when the music starts. And Jesse, you too. Huh? I don't know how. Whenever I see pictures of you, I'm like, whoa! You've got, ah. you've got the fishnets. You've got the cut off. <laughs> we were going back on X Factor to perform our new single. I didn't give a shit if, I, if the performance was going to be good. All I cared about was people seeing me and going, oh, she looks good, she's lost weight. Have you seen what's been said about you online, Jesse? Katie Hopkins um, just basically called you fat. could be the skinniest girl in the world and this is never going to go away. There's no point waking up and feeling sad every day because it's, I couldn't like, I, I physically like couldn't um, tolerate the pain anymore. And I remember thinking, I just, I just need to make this go away. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna end this. And I just remember going to the kitchen <laughs> and I just took as many tablets as I could. There must have been a few times where, mm -hmm. where the girls have stopped you from leaving the band. Yeah. I think you have to learn to have a thick skin. I think yeah. it comes with, you know, being in a girl band and being an artist. People want to know what you're doing and what you're up to, which is fine with us because we're very open with our fans and you know, things like that, I think. So I think we cope with it pretty well. And we have each other, luckily. Yeah. So we experience everything together and we've always got each other's backs. 